Good day, good day, good day. It's dry, but my glove fell on the floor. And now my fingertips are soaked. This feels really, really weird. I changed the location of the microphone so it isn't directly in front of my mouth anymore and I won't touch it while talking. So hopefully the weird crispy sound is also gone. We shall see during this ride. I have to keep in mind that the tarmac is wet, there are leaves everywhere. I need to ride a little bit more careful than I would normally do. And I already want it to be spring or summer again. Shit weather. But yeah, that was not the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I'm actually on my way to do two things. One is to visit my parents. And the second one is to go to Kimpe because there's a new motor store opening there. Already has opened if everything is correct. So I want to check that out very quickly. You know, interesting in what they have. And especially interested in the fact that they have um, electric motorcycles there. The wind is absolutely killing me. But yeah, really interesting in what kind of electric bikes they have there. One thing I want to say before all that. Um, Lid, good luck with uh, repairing your bike and recovering yourself. Although that last part is less important, I know, but it's also important. Hopefully we will see you riding again very soon. It's always a shame when you crash your bike, but yeah, yours locked quite heavily, I must say. The, the damage, at least. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the time this video will be online, I'm guessing Lid will also have his video online, I'm not sure. Um, so you can check it out, I will put a link in the description down below, but yeah. He dropped his bike due to the bad weather and uh, it's always sad to hear those stories you never wish it upon someone else to drop his bike or her bike good luck with preparing other way he's just not using any indicator at all that's also a possibility Tip shit. Oh, now he is. Jesus effing Christ, man. No indicators indicating left when he's not going left. Driving like a bloody grandpa. So yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the new channel I made. It's a Dutch channel. Um, it's a review channel, like many many others. So it was asked because I had some review experience with the motorcycles and, um, and there were some opportunities and in the end... And this is something we discussed for a very long time. Me, uh, my girlfriend and you know some other people. In the end I made a decision that I would like to do this, I want to try it. Oh, working so far so good. I'm quite happy. It takes up some time. Um, as you have noticed, one Wednesday video has not aired. But yeah, from time to time there will be a Wednesday video that won't be online. If that's the worst case scenario, then that is uh, that. Um, but I'm doing a giveaway on the channel. Now the channel is in Dutch. So for people from the Netherlands, from the Belgium, you all can enter. It is handy if you speak Dutch, but yeah, not per se needy. One of the things I'm giving away is a power bank. And the reason why I mention this is because I always ride with a power bank. People have seen group rides of me have seen this. I 
always ride with a power bank. Power bank is hooked up to my drift, and that way my drift has unlimited energy. So I can do entire group rides without changing my battery, without even having to think about it, which is great. I can film multiple days without charging a battery or replacing a battery. I do replace my batteries from time to time to prevent them getting old. But yeah, I film everything on the power bank in theory. And I'm giving one away, so this is especially for the Dutch people that watch me, especially for the Dutch vloggers, a great way to get themselves a power bank to do the same trick. Never missing a single bit of group ride on your camera. Because you can always see that towards the end of certain group rides that people missed some footage. They didn't have the end recording because yeah, all the batteries were dead. Some cases the SD cards were full, but most of the time all the batteries were dead. Uh, I will put a link in the description down below for people who are interested in that. But yeah, that takes up some time. It does create some beautiful videos, but yeah, it takes some time. Sometimes you give, sometimes, sometimes you have to take some time. Scheduling is everything. Okay, just visit electric motorcycles. Really, really kind people. And I see some small opportunities for the near future. That's worth something to keep uh, my interest on. Or at least in my opinion it is. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like, the whole bloody shebang. But I'm trying to get myself above the wind noise, even though I'm not sure, sure how bad the wind noise is.